YouTube, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for another clutch reveal. I'm super excited about this one. Um, we got some pretty sweet odds here. It's, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So, uh, same thing as last time. I'm gonna show you real quick the uh, mom and dad. And then I actually have them all in one bin on the bench this time. I think it might be a little bit easier just to do it that way. But uh, we'll show you what we ended up with out of clutch two. Clutch two came from the same male as the first clutch, which is this pastel enchi, scaleless head male. He's going into shed, of course. But same, same, uh, same guy as clutch one. So if you want a little bit closer look, run back and look at the over here, I guess, clutch one video. And then the female I know is deep in shed, so she's gonna look awful. But he was bred to this big enchi girl that looks like crap because she's deep, deep, deep in shed. Um, really excited and really happy for her because she is eating like crazy. So it's always, always nice to get them back on food as quick as possible. She'll eat anything I put in front of her face now. So she's putting the size back on really quick. Um, definitely will be ready for the 2020 season. Uh, so yeah, might re I might redo this pairing again, or repeat this pairing next year, because I really like the outcome that we had, and I think I can, uh, I think I can do even better with some odds if I get the odds in my favor. And there's one story about uh, the really nice one we hit in here that I'll tell you when we get there, which is why I might repeat the pairing because we need another one. So pastel Enchi scaleless head to Enchi clutch two. Let's head over to the bench and tell you what we got. All right, we're gonna do a little bit different angle this time than the first uh, clutch we did. I think this will be a little bit more fun, actually, because I can talk over it while I've got really good uh, close-up video. So again, pastel Enchi scaleless head to Enchi this time. We'll start at the bottom and work our way towards the best, but the bottom certainly is not bad. First up is this guy right here. Just a just a pastel but in my opinion i mean I, I might be biased but this is this is one of the nicest pastels i think i have ever seen i can get him in frame here there we go just one of the nicest pastels i've ever seen his his pattern is like crazy busy he's got these really nice uh like orange highlights coming through the middle i know they call it flaming in that the blushing across the back is pretty pretty clean um, just really, really nice. Let me zoom you guys out just a bit so I can, there we go. I got a little bit of room to work with now. Um, but yeah, so pastel male, just beautiful, beautiful color. And this is 1902.05. So there's five in this clutch, 1902.05 for the pastel male. 1902.04 is this girl, another pastel Enchi. We hit a, a total of four of these, I think, between the two clutches, something like that. This one's a female. She's kind of fiery, which is kind of feisty, which is nice. It makes them, usually makes them pretty good eaters. Uh, all of these except one have eaten at least one meal already. So she's going to... She's sizing me, sizing me up right here. Sizing me, sizing me up right here. Stop. So, um, another pastel inchy though. Beautiful, beautiful color. Nice blushing over the top. Really cool flames in some of her, some of the side spots. Uh, these have expressed a lot of orange, which has been kind of cool to see. So, uh, and they've got fairly bright white sides that they're getting from the pastel, which is nice. But uh, Pastel Enchi Female, 1902-04. She'll be available, obviously. Next up, actually thought that this guy was just an Enchi. This is a male, this is 1902 03. Did I do that right? Yeah, 03. And he, uh, it's a male Enchi, but 
But after consulting with some really experienced scaleless head breeders, uh, we've determined that he is indeed scaleless head. He's a very, very low expression, if I can get it to focus. So very low expression, almost to none, really. Um, you have to look at it under a, either under a magnifying glass or under a, a video or a picture that's blown up, but there is a small spot between his heads where they're discolored, or a, um, they're different, the shape of the scales and that. He does have the telltale marker of the split ventral scales, which is a go-to. But even more than that, um, he, uh, he's got much more like fine, smooth, beaded scales. So everybody talks about the micro scale being different than the scaleless head. I don't know if it's true or not, but they're finding, the people that have bred these a lot are finding that the uh, scaleless heads tend to have much more beaded and smaller scalation and they're much smoother almost like a micro scale so this one turned out to be a male enchi scaleless head really really nice example of enchi too super bright super clean he's got some nice flaming but little male enchi scaleless head this male's already spoken for he's going to a buddy of mine out on the east coast so um, be exciting to see what he can do with uh, with this little guy in, in a year or so. Next up is 190202. Is this little male? They're trying to run away out of my tub over here. Is this little guy another pastel Enchi scaleless head? So this guy is an exact copy of his dad. Like like father, like son. Lower expression than the dad. Uh, but still really nice. You can see it there. Obviously has the split vent scale like they all do from what I'm told. Uh, it's kind of hard to see but it's in there. Uh, but really nice color. This one's a little bit darker along the back which is kind of interesting. It's got almost a green hue up here. A little darker. Got the nice bright white and orange sides. Pretty pretty sweet flaming. He's got a couple of nice spots on him. I like this one over here. That was really big. But uh, really nice little guy here. Um, this one's still available, 190202 male pastel inchy scaleless head. And then the holy grail from the group, this little girl actually has not finished shedding yet, she's super close, so she's not quite as perfect as she's going to be. Um, and since she has not finished shedding, she has not taken her first meal, so she's definitely smaller than her siblings, but slow starter, but she'll get going. But this, this is it right here. This is as good as it gets in my opinion for this pairing. This is a female super enchi scaleless head. She's possibly pastel, but it doesn't seem like it from everything I've been told to, told to look for in that. But you can see the scalation there on her scaleless head and her blue eyes because she's not done shedding yet. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Um, but super inchy scaleless head, female. This turned out way better than I could have ever hoped. Uh, I've seen pictures of other super inchy scaleless heads, and this one is just, it's insane. When she sheds, I'll put up a, an updated picture. I might have an updated picture actually for this video. If I do, it'll be up right now. Hopefully there's a picture there for you, because um, when she comes out, her color, because I saw her before she started to go into shed when she came out of the egg, and her color was just insane. It's, it's highlighter yellow, super, super deep blacks, um, really, just really, really nice contrast. And this pattern is crazy. I know Super Enchi can throw really nice reduced banded patterns, but the, the head stamp here is really bizarre. For a super inchy and then she's got this like mustache thing going on across the nose but yeah just super excited about this girl so is what I was saying earlier about uh, repeating the pairing this girl is not available but she is spoken for she's not staying here um, unfortunately but it's for it's for a good reason it's for a good cause it uh, we really I really would like to keep her because uh, you know it's she's obviously amazing but this, if you guys remember, I did uh, 
a pick of the litter from my first two clutches um, for the Chase, uh, Chase and the Cure charity auction for Chase Patton. And my buddy, the guy that picked her up, that won the auction, picked her out of the eggs, obviously, and I don't blame him, I, I would too. So he's on, or she rather, will be at some point on her way to, uh, to him. Uh, he's told me though that I can hold on to her as long as I want and watch her grow a little bit because obviously um, you know she's not gonna be able to breed for a few years. So I'll keep you guys updated. We're gonna I'm gonna watch her grow. I want to see her get through about 500 grams or so and just really see her come into her colors and her pattern. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna repeat I'm gonna repeat this pairing next year and see if I can can't hit another one because this girl's just phenomenal. She's so so incredibly cool. This is the female super inchy scaleless head possible pastel. Well, there you go, guys. Um, all I can say is wow, they are awesome. Even the the less genetically uh, advanced ones. I I'm just really I'm really excited the what this male is throwing. His stuff is phenomenal, and it kind of goes to show that it's him and not the moms because. The pastel enchies and the pastel enchies scaleless heads are all the same, but across the two clutches. I mean, there's some variations in pattern, of course, but the intensity, the color, the contrast is all the same. So this guy is incredible. Can't wait to use him again next year and go maybe a different direction with some others. I got some other girls that might be a really cool pairing for that. So really excited. Um, super happy for uh, Nick that's ending up with that super enchy scaleless head girl. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on her over the next couple of months. I'll bring her out in a video or two occasionally just to kind of see the progress, see her grow. Really excited to see her get some size and some color on her. Um, she's a little slow going now, but we'll get her going. It's no big deal. It's all, all part of the process. Uh, she did hatch out the smallest of the litter as well, so there's that. But she's doing really well, and, uh, and I think she's going to be just fine. So we'll keep you updated on her. Um, the next video, I don't think it's going to be next week. I'm trying to break these up a little bit. Uh, it might be, but the next clutch video is clutch three, um, which was supposed to be our dreamsicle video. Uh, it's not. I mean, it, it is it is clutch three video, but uh, I'll spoil it ahead of time. There are no dreamsicles, but uh, there's a lot to be learned from that clutch, and I'll leave it at that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go into too much detail. I'd rather you guys just uh, check that one out when it happens, um, but go to that video with an open mind, and let's all learn a little bit if we can. So we're gonna leave that there. Uh, we got a lot coming still. There's three clutches cooking. We pulled, uh, I don't know if you saw, in, uh, if you follow us on Instagram and that, you'll see that our big fire female, Fiona, finally let them go, day 39. Um, gave us 11 perfect eggs, no slugs, barely fit in the egg box. So, uh, in about six, about 50 days from now, we should have hopefully a bunch of super fires. I'm really excited about that one. So there's three clutches cooking currently. Um, we got three, maybe four more to lay any day now. Penny, the clown female, is going through what I believe is her pre-lay shed. So we'll keep an eye on her. We might be 30 days or so out from. Uh, some clown eggs that would be nice but yeah we are off and running now it's going crazy around here thank you guys for staying with us like and subscribe on uh on here head over to instagram and follow us on there that's where all the pictures for everything go up first uh, a lot of you have seen a lot of these animals already if you've been over there and uh yeah we're gonna keep going we got more racks to build obviously projects coming room upgrades it's yeah, it's crazy. Um, but thanks a lot for coming with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in any of the ones that are available or from Clutch One, I still have a couple over there as well. Um, don't forget to uh, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Let me know the number, the ID number that you're interested in. It makes it so much easier. That's why I've got them all labeled. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, until next time, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next week. See ya.